Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Highway 21 Primary Engineer and Engineer Low Boots, available at Revzilla.com. So for the Primary Engineer Boots, they're available in two different flavors. You got a tall full height boot coming in at 13 inches. There's also going to be a low version, which actually cuts two inches off the height, coming in at 11 inches. Now, Highway 21 is a new brand for us here at Revzilla, and this is going to be an entry-level cruiser-style brand. This is for those of you out there that want a quality piece, but you don't want to break the bank, and you want it to look a little bit more classic in its nature. Now, the one thing I will say is that the construction on Highway 21's boots is second to none. They've done a great job of giving you simple, full leather construction. They're going to utilize top grain leather. There's a Hypora waterproof liner in here. And the Goodyear lug sole on this is going to be completely replaceable. So if you do have any problems with the sole, you can take it to your friendly neighborhood cobbler after years of abuse and have a new sole put on. So when we're breaking this down from a sizing standpoint, the primary engineer and engineer low fit a little bit differently from some of the other boots we've seen in Highway 21's lineup. Typically, I'm a 12 and a half. I had to size up a half a size to a 13 to get these to fit. There are no half sizes available. So if you find yourself in between two sizes, you do want to size up about a half size to get this to fit. And a lot of that comes into play with when you're pulling this boot on. Again, it's that classic engineer style. There's no zippers, so you would undo the buckle if you had to have that little bit of extra room there. But it's really just a pull-on boot. So I had a little bit of trouble getting, getting my boot past the, uh, the ankle on this. Sizing up worked out fine, and then it wasn't too big that I couldn't walk around comfortably. Now, there's one color available that is black, and sizes will range from a 7 to a size 14. Now this is going to come in around the $135 to $155 price point, depending on whether I'm going with the low version or the tall version. So this is going to be a top of the line offering within Highway 21's lineup. If you want something with more of a uh, harness pull-up style with a square toe, you can take a look at the Spark boots. And then if you want something that's going to run up to an extra size, the, uh, the RPM boots actually bump you up to a size 15, but that is a completely different style. So if you're looking for something that's a pull-on style boot, but you want maybe a square toe, you would be taking a look at the Sparks. And then for those of you that want more of this round toe engineer style, that's where the primaries are coming into play. And again, it's up to you as to whether you want the 13-inch version or the 11-inch version. But again, it's nice that you have the same boot with just a little bit of different options there. Now, throughout both boots, you're looking at full top grain leather, and the leather is going to be water resistant. But in addition to that, you have a full Hypora waterproof liner, which means this boot is going to be waterproof. The one thing to note here gets a little bit warm in the summer months. So if you're riding throughout the heat of the summer, you might find your feet sweating a little bit in here. This is really going to be perfectly ideal for those of you out there in cooler temperatures. Think spring, think fall, and then again into the winter months. It's just not going to have that same breathability you would see from Gore-Tex. But again, that's one of the sacrifices you're making that's getting you in around the $135 to $155 price point. You get up into Gore-Tex boots, Gore-Tex boots, you're already up in that $255 to $300 range. So again, that's where some of that price differentiation comes into play. Now the sole on this is going to be about a 3 out of 10 on our rigidity scale. This is going to be comfortable enough for you to walk around in all day, but there's still a nice base here that's going to make you feel confident and comfortable and protected when you're on the motorcycle. It is going to be a lug style sole, and it is going to be oil resistant, slip resistant for you. The construction on this is going to be a Goodyear style sole, which means it is going to have a replaceable stitching to it. So if you do need to replace that sole, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is one of those boots that you can use for years. And instead of having to throw the boot away when you're done with it, you can just have the sole replaced. And it's like having a new boot all over again. Reinforcement at the toe. And then as we move around, there is going to be a little bit of, of reinforcement along the back of the heel on this. You will see the Highway 21 logo embossed right around the base of the heel, and then it'll be embossed up top again when we get to the top of the boot. There is no ankle protection here, so just keep that in mind. There's no ankle cups, so this isn't going to be a CE rated boot. You're just having a little bit of extra reinforcement at the toe and the heel. But for those of you out there that, that aren't looking for a big and beefy boot, this is definitely going to be one to consider. You do have the pull on the back, which is done in a very solid hand, so you do have a very good pull to this. You don't feel like that little piece of leather is going to rip off like we have with some boots. And again, you can see the uh, Highway 21 logo is embossed in the front of this. Now the buckles down either side are just really there for style. You're not getting too much in the ways of uh, extra room. I will say that if you do need to kind of ratchet it down, you can go a little bit you know, tighter but really you're not getting too much extra room by undoing the buckle. So these are more just decorative than they are anything else. Simple pull on, pull off, and then there is a microfiber lining on the inside that sits against your, against your foot where the uh, Hypora waterproof lining sits in between the exterior and the interior of the boot. 
For those of you out there looking for a simple engineer style boot and you want that extra layer of protection from the elements, you want that waterproof in here, just make sure you are wearing a pair of waterproof pants that covers down over the top of the boot. But there's a lot of riders out there that are excited about this style. And again, the fact that this is coming in sub that $160 price point really is going to set Highway 21 apart. There's a lot of riders out there utilizing Highway 21 gear. If you want to hear more about what those riders have to say, all you have to do is click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting the primary boots through its paces. Now, if you have more questions for one of our gear geeks as far as sizing is concerned or which pair of boots is right for you and your riding style, give them a shout, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us today for this look at the Highway 21 Primary Engineer and Engineer Low Boots. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.